watu wangu saseni ni aje karibuni sana katika hii video ya siku ya leo safeguarding officer jeff ningependa tu leo tuweze kuongelelea kuhusu albanas na baba yake watu wa Mungu kwani what is going on with fathers nowadays hey this is not okay um of course tunaelewa story ya albanas kutoka kwa True KTV the first time ilianzia kwa streets wakati darajali kutana na wao mama gift na albanas wakitembea na wakachapwa ndani ya sanitization and of course from there the story began ya kwamba Albanas alikuwa na cheat and that was with Kamacha um from there then things escalated from zero to quite high uh, and of course family hapo ikaanza kuwa kama inaanza kusambaratika between Albanas mama gift then Kamacha akakuja kwa scene then from there of course baba Albanas came into the scene from there Mama Albanas yeye mwenyewe akakuja kwa scene uh, since then there we saw um, John kisema pia mama yake akona siblings ambaye pia hii family imekuwa entangled and others that we did not know of course the story went on and uh, at the end of it ikakuwa ni kama Albanas amepagawa amekuwa mlevi wamekosana na mama gift kabisa then eventually story yao na kamacha ikaishia because of alikuwa amedanganywa na kamacha kwamba zawadi ni mtoto wake in reality that was not the case kamacha was just playing games with him uh, alikuwa na tafuna kwa pesa na everything the guy did everything for kamacha um, but in reality the child mtoto wa kamacha zawadi it was hakuwa walbanas after dna between him na shem ambaye pia alikuwa ni mpenzi wa kamacha before wakutane na albanas uh, the child was neither shames or albanas so it's only kamacha who knows actually the father of gift ni nani but the story escalated from there ikawa wameachana na kamacha kamacha amemwambia sikanyange kwake and all that and albanas turned out to become a drunkard I think that is the last story ya yeah, Albanas inajulikana kwa point that alichukuliwa kapelekwa ushago kidogo angaliwe kama anaweza ku recuperate. But of course lately kumetokea stories ambazo they are just a bit concerning about Albanas. But anyway before hata tuende huko kwote looking at how the story went it was quite sad to know that wala watu walichezwa ndani ya hiyo game actually ilikuwa ni mama gift na mama albanas those are the two people that actually suffered about what happened because mama gift eh alikuwa anachezewa na albanas na kamacha alitafuta pesa na albanas lakini ule mtu alikuwa anakula pesa ni kamacha of course nae Baba Albanas alikuwa anachezea bibi yake Mama Albanas kwa sababu not only alikuwa ni yeye but pia alikuwa na another woman who happens to be John's mother and apparently there's two other siblings that belongs to Baba Albanas so Albanas akona two other siblings with mama yake John so ukiangalia Baba Albanas na Albanas wote walikuwa wanafanya tabia mbaya And that is actually why hata wakati hii story yote ya Kamacha ilikuja. Guess what guys? Baba Albanas stood with Albanas na kasema it Albanas ni a boy child. Lazima akue na akue na wanawake. Akitaka kuoa anaweza oa. He knew everything what was going on. Yet he never told the wife, Mama Albanas, and he never told anything to Mama Gift. Yeye yeah, alikuwa anafanya mambo yeye yeah, na Albanas including kutoa zile pesa zote zilikuwa kwa bank na kujaribu kuuza mashamba for the sake of kamacha so imagine sisi kama akina baba that is not the way to go baba albanas alionesha albanas tabia mbaya that is not what fatherhood is all about that is not what good role modeling is about baba albanas alionesha albanas ya kwamba unaweza kulala na wanawake wengine huko nje ukuwa na bibi yako unaweza kufanya tabia mbaya 
You can misuse your money and resources that God has given you. You can misuse your family money. Zile ambazo Mungu amekubariki wewe na bibi yako muweze kusaka, ukusanya, put together. But instead of you using that with your family, you can now use it na side chickens. What a shame. So Baba Albanas honestly is a bad role model. If that is how men are, I don't know, generation ile ambayo inatufuata itakuwa wapi na itaenda wapi. So I pray that kama wewe ni baba, please understand that it is critical you role model your sons very well because they are looking up unto you. Usisahau ya kwamba wazazi they are the first point of contact that children will look up unto. Not even teachers, not people in the community, not their pastors, not their friends, they will look at you as parents. As a mimi ningependa kuwa kama my mom. Mimi ningependa kuwa kama my dad. The way I see my dad work hard. The way I see my dad take care of my mom. The way I see my dad, you know, biashara. Vile na muona, you know, is 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 a lecturer here. Is a respected man in the community. I would want to be like my dad when I grow up. Baba Albanas is a bad idea. You do not want to be like a man like that. Because yo, that's not good manners. You want to teach him to talk about how he is. Ya kwamba yeye ndiye alipeleka Albanas Uganda. Waende wakatoe mahali kwa kina kamacha. Wakati anajua mama gift is in the dark. Bibi yake pia mama Albanas was in the dark. Yeye and some other imaginary parent ambaye walitengeneza walitoka na wakaenda mpaka Uganda kupeleka mahari huko kufanyia mama kama acha all those things it's a sad thing wakati wao kuwa na familia yako ambaye Mungu amekubariki na amekupatia so fathers we need to do better baba albanas alifanyia albanas mambo machafu however having said that naweza kusema we cannot solely hold him responsible because albanas was also an adult once you are an adult you cannot then say oh influence yangu ililetwa na huyu mtu kwa sababu you are of sound mind and you are an adult and you can be you will be whole responsible for your own actions wewe hata kama baba yake alimuonesha tabia mbaya na nini sio lazima angefanya hizo mambo because again when we go back to albanas we actually see that where they met with kamacha ni kwa pub and sisemi wale watu wanakunywa ama wanapewa kitu ni vibaya kwenda kwa pub you can go to pub but kuna family pubs Baroso atakapo uko peke yako uko na uko na mabisti wako understand that uko na mke wako kwa nyumba understand what you are doing but according to what Kamacha said na Masi ule Masi alikuwa ngo friend ya Kamacha walisema walikutana na Albanas akiwa kwa club na alikuwa mlevi na wakati alikuwa mlevi wakamtongoza akaingia box na ule mtu alikuwa ameweza kumchukua kwanza ni Masi but the how the story changed Kamacha akanyang'anya Masi Albanas na akakuwa yeye ndiye akona Albanas it's a story of another day hata Masi yeye hawanga haelewi so kamacha alirudi kusema baadaye ya kwamba Masi ni mtu amenalia masikio anyway so you see he was a club so sometimes it's also important understand places where you can find yourself in trouble basi kama unajua wewe ni mtu ambaye unapenda kukunywa ni wewe ni mlevi unakunywa mpaka unalewa unajua kuna kukunywa kukunywa pombe na kuna kukunywa pombe kukunywe There are people that drink until they are completely out they don't even know what they are doing they lose money they lose their cars their keys they use all things sababu umekunywa pombe mpaka pombe ikakukunywa hata uwezi kwenda nyumbani ufanye I think that is Albanas designio na hata wakati umemwona kule kwa director J akikuja kuwa mlevi na nini this is exactly how much he can become intoxicated to a point that he does not understand who he is anymore So it is critical wewe kama adult ujue what you are doing how and what you want your family to be. So Albanas asa kuna watoto wawili. Na sasa hao watoto wawili they should be looking up unto him as a father figure, a role model, but I do not think they can do that. Now the latest news ile ambazo tumeona, tumemwona juzi kwa Kamacha. I think Kamacha premiered a video ile ambaye Albanas aliweza kuja kwa nyumba ya Kamacha and unfortunately akaanza kuleta fujo na gasi ya but Kamacha alimwambia yeye amebadilika the guy is still thinking that gift ni wake 
na ameambiwa na alifanya mpaka DNA na akaambiwa nilikucheza but he is still unaona bado ni mlevi ni mtu ambaye hajelewi now what is worrying and surprising is that imekuja kueleweka ya kwamba from Kabacha's visit to Mama Gift ya kwamba Albanas unfortunately has another family ya kwamba Mama Gift was got wife uh, there's another woman that has got two children another Irene that is of the same age kama Irene wa Mama Gift I think with and uh, that woman has another child so what I pia kona Irene was that one was number two, and now Kamacha was wife number three. Uyu bipi wa pili alikuwa amefichwa mafichoni until recently ndiye amekuja kujulikana ya kwamba mama gift nimekuja kusema kwamba nimekuja kungundua ya kwamba Albanas had another family. So Albanas once 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 again is trying to take more. He's trying to chew more than he can handle. Yeye yeah, mwenyewe life yake sasa hizi ina mess. So he is trying to do what, the only thing that was lucky is that Kamacha played Albanas and he thought that Zawadi ni wake but unfortunately alichezewa game he was played at his own game so yeah all he did is kulea huyo mtoto and of course akanganganywa na mapenzi and akaenda up kununua hizo vitu zote mashamba huko Uganda na kila kitu but he was played at his own game by Kamacha but why lie like this so it's now known that albana have another family ambaye ni wife number 2 and therefore it's not known kama yeye sasa wako in good terms na huyo mwanamke because mama gift amesema yeye na hawako bado pamoja na albanas and from what anaonekana kwa interviews na kwa videos especially hiyo akamacha it doesn't look like she wants to reconnect with the man i think she's saying she's moving on the guy has put her into a lot of trouble and debts and therefore she's ready to start all over and she's moving on with her life yeye pamoja na watoto wake it's a shame for somebody like albanas to behave like this it's always important kama wewe ni a man be responsible take charge of your own life and of course no kenyan constitution in rules watu kukua na babidi wawili if you want to marry two wives it's not a problem the constitution does allow that but you just need to be clear you need to involve you know the good wife and just let them know that look this is my intentions and then they probably will give you their blessings or you will have to have that discussions with your family but this idea of just going behind everybody's back and then families are popping from this side to this side come on now no it doesn't work like that it's not the nice thing to do and as a father you need to be a role model as fathers we must be role models the boys that we are raising up are looking up to us to say oh this is what fatherhood is all about. This is what manhood is all about. This is what husbandhood is all about. Therefore it's critical. Albanas na wale watu wengine hapo huko wako kama Albanas. Please remember that that these boys but also the girls are looking up to you for role modeling. And if this is how you're going to role model, then we are having a lost generation that is emerging very soon. Anyway, watu wangu ni hayo tu. I hope that you guys can pray for Albanas because definitely it looks like he's a man that is on the verge of being lost. Sijui sasa ever if he and Mama Gift will ever come back together. Certainly he and Kamacha are part. Anaanza kuja kwa Kamacha anaanza kuleta fujo. Actually I do not understand why Kamacha kujabadilisha funguo. Change your locks. You know this guy went with kiss wakati muliachana. Why is it that he still has access to your house? Badilisha, call a locksmith and change your lock so that that guy does not have access to your unless Kamacha uko una play games and you still want this man into your life which you have tried to showcase tangu uokoke ya kwamba that's not the case. Please secure yourself, secure zawadi because the last time Albanas alikuwa na alimuiba na sijui alienda wapi for 3 days uko na huyo mtoto. Who knows kama wakati alikuwa amemuiba alikuwa ameenda kwa huyu bibi mwingine ambaye pia ako na Irene na apparently with another child who knows we don't know so keep yourself safe family staff adali to fanya kazi pamoja tuheshimu ndoa let us not mess about there's a lot of issues ambazo zimeletwa na na fujo na ghazia zimetokea kwa sababu ya watu kutokuheshimu ndoa yeah, tu watu wangu please don't forget to subscribe we are 
on the road to 20,000 strong safeguarding family around the world. I pray that give this video a like. Uh, share this message if you can, but most importantly, Afadali, press that red button and subscribe to our channel. And definitely, I will see you very soon in another video. Thank you.